Jack here, and I'm excited because I've got with me the Zion Mollus G60 60 watt COB pocket fill light. This is a really cool, neat, portable light for your video work, your photography work, and full disclosure, it was sent to me for free for this video, but as always, that won't change anything that I say. We're gonna open up the box, show you some functions and features of the light, and show you what you're getting with this Mollus G60. Let's get into it. When you open it up, you are greeted with couple different things. We've got the little quick start guide, the manual here. Do check through this as it'll answer most of your questions. There's some QR codes to download some tutorials and the manual itself. So do check this out. The biggest thing you're going to worry about is just getting the diffuser on the actual light itself and then setting up the light with a tripod. There's a few different ways you can power this device too, which is really cool and convenient. So we'll talk a little bit more about that in just a moment. We'll set this aside. This is the really neat softbox style diffuser hood. If we peel this off, you'll see the inside there is bright and shiny, but it's this nice silicone rubber cover that keeps the light diffused, which is really great, especially if you're closer to your subjects. More on this in just a second. The main light is right here. This is your 60 watt high output light. We're gonna go ahead and pull this off. Now this is a constant on light or a COB light, which means you can set this, plug it in, and it will go and stay, and you don't have to worry about it running out or overheating, which I really like. There's some active cooling too, which is really, really nice. They actually call it the Dynavort cooling system, which consists of a gyroscope modeling heat sinks and FOC fans to prevent overheating. That Dynavort technology is based on the fluid dynamics and attitude control algorithm, significantly raising the cooling efficiency through intelligent control over airflow emissions. So my guess with that is the hotter this thing gets, the better it's gonna cool. And so far from using it, this fan noise hasn't been an issue at all. I haven't even noticed it. On the front here, you've got this massive and impressive LED, and this is actually gonna be where our hood connects. I like how they designed this. It kind of connects like a lens. So if you're used to any kind of camera or video work, this is gonna be something you're familiar with. We're just gonna lock it on there by twisting, and you can see there's that detachment little lever right there. Other features of the device here, there's a nice little LCD screen, a power button, a dimmer, and a really easy to control CCT wheel for your white balance and all of that. There's also this built-in little stand tripod mount, which can unscrew there. Then you've got room to thread onto a tripod right there, or you can actually prop it up on its own. Behind this bracket though is the DC 24 volt in to give you the full power via the included power supply, but you can also power this device via a USB-C connector, a USB-C charger, for a little less than full output power, but we'll talk more about that. It's really cool that they give you two options. All that's left in the package is the main power supply right here. It comes in two different pieces. This piece connects on the end of the brick there. It's a pretty sizable brick, so definitely a little bit on the heftier side, but that's because this light is crazy powerful. There's another sheet in here. This is the disclaimer and warnings of the Zion Mollus G60, so do be sure to check that out. We'll toss that aside. And last but not least, there is this little carrying pouch with a hole in the bottom to keep all of your power supply and cabling stuff organized. Now, like I said before, one of the biggest wins of this Zion Mollus G60 60 watt light is the adaptive power supply system that they've advertised with this unit. So you do get the option of the 24 volt DC power adapter that is included. This is gonna be your main power system if you really want to get the full brightness, the full effect of this little light. But it does also feature this USB-C port for using it on the go in more of a portable type scenario if you have less gear, you don't wanna carry as much around and you don't need the light as bright. Both work really well, and I'll show you in a second the difference there, but it's really cool that they enabled and gave us that feature of that adaptive power system with this light. So the maximum power output of the G60 is 60 watts, but with the two different adaptive power options, you can power the device from anywhere to 18 at the minimum end and 100 watts at the maximum end. So we're gonna go ahead and power this in by plugging the connector. I'm gonna go ahead and press the power button here to turn it on, and you'll see the Zion logo lights up. And right off the bat, you're seeing the percentage here of brightness, so we can go all the way down to zero, which turns the light off, or we can go a little bit higher here to our maximum brightness, all the way up to 100%, which is wild bright. You can see it's a very bright light. If I go ahead and rotate this around, you'll see just how bright that light is, but also not too bad because it does have the diffuser, which I really like. So if we press this in, it'll go back to zero, which is nice. If we press it again, it'll go back to 50%. Pressing the dimmer switch again, will actually max it out at 100. One more time back at zero 
and then back to 50. So it's really nice that you can toggle through those different preset settings. Now here, this little flick wheel is the CCT or color temperature wheel. So the maximum color temperature is 6,500. We can go ahead and bring this all the way down to a low 2,700, which is a very tungsten color and pressing the center brings it back to a neutral 5500. Really appreciate that function there. Being able to dial in the brightness, being able to dial in the white balance is something I love about this light. I've got this little USB-C adapter and power supply here. We're gonna plug this into the Mollus G60 and see how it works off of the USB-C powered option. We're gonna go into the side here, press it in, and you'll see that when I hit the power button, it will come on as well. But it's telling us that we're limited at 18 watts of input. So if I go ahead and turn this up, it's actually gonna limit our max brightness based on how much power it's receiving. And we can only get up to 24% before the 18 watts starts flashing, letting us know, hey, that's all that we can do with this power source. Now your results may vary depending on what cable you're using or what brick you're using. If you use different fast chargers, you can definitely get that number to go higher. This is a USB-C to USB type A cable. So that's limiting me at the 18 watts. It's not this device that's limited at the 18 watts. See what you can do to find a better USB-C fast charger. And you'll definitely be able to get that input up quite a bit higher and use this light brighter with a USB-C charger. Well, there you have it, the Mollus G60. That's gonna about do it for this one. This is a really simple, straightforward light. It's an always on light, it's a portable light, and I really enjoy it. It's great in the studio, great for shoots, for photo, for video, and I couldn't be happier. I love the active cooling, I love that you can just let this thing run, and I love the two different power options on this light. The included mounting base is super cool as well. And I think Zion did a really great job. Special thanks to them again for sending this one out to me for review. If you're looking at this Mollus G60, I hope this video helped your purchase decision. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.